I'm so happy to doodle with you again. Today we are going to doodle with the letter Z. So let's get our paper and pencil and colors ready to go. All right, let's go. First, you're going to want to draw the letter Z. You might want to make it a little bit smaller because we're going to have lots of details. So I'm just going to do a small Z here in the middle of my paper. Great job. You know your letters really well. Then I'm going to find the bottom corner and I'm going to go straight down and then diagonal up and go straight across and stop. Hmm, I wonder what it's gonna be. Next, I'm gonna start here and draw a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a circle or a small oval. Then I'm going to find the other end of my Z and diagonal up to my circle. Do you know what it is yet? Hmm, maybe this will help. We're going to draw a beak that is kind of pointed and also comes into the circle a little bit. Now you might want to use your eraser and you can erase this little part of the line on the beak. Ooh, so since I'm saying the word beak, do you know what it's gonna be? That's right, a bird, you are so smart. And we can go ahead and draw a little eye if you want to. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to about halfway right here and we're going to go straight down and then we're going to come straight back up like a big letter V. Very good. Now I'm going to draw a little line and another little line and two lines right here, and that's going to be the leg. Does it kind of look like a parrot? That's right. And next, we're going to add some details to our picture. Where do parrots like to hang out? Do they like to hang out in trees? They do. Trees are nice and comfortable. So we're gonna draw part of a branch right here and maybe the branch goes out the other side and maybe the branch has some leaves on it. So we can draw some leaves on our branch. Good job. And maybe this branch is part of a big tree. So I'm gonna draw part of the big tree. Maybe some more leaves here. There's all different shapes of leaves, but you can do it how you want. Sometimes I draw my leaves to look kind of like a football, and then I put some lines on them. You decide. Wow, is, does it kind of look like a parrot? And we can write the sentence, the parrot. What does your parrot do? The parrot sings, the parrot squawks, the parrot can fly. Are you ready to add some colors? I am. 
Now parrots come in all different kinds of colors, so you can choose your favorite colors. Let's see, I'm going to use some green. One minute, let me find the right color green. Okay, maybe my parrot's head will be green. But you can choose a different color. Maybe I also want part of its tail to be green. Sometimes parrots look like they have blended colors with lots of different colors. Maybe also some blue. Whatever your favorite colors are, you could use them to color your parrot. Mine's going to be really colorful. Maybe I'm going to use a smaller brush, add some red. If you want to make the feathers look more realistic, you can do it. That's up to you. I'm going to keep mine pretty simple, though. Maybe I do want a little bit more green. Let's make sure I pick the same color green here. Hmm. All right. And I can use that green for my leaves too. That's perfect. Do you guys like to use crayons or markers? or colored pencils or paint. What do you like to use when you're creating? I really like to use paint. But sometimes it can be messy. So usually I just use crayons or colored pencils. We are almost done with our parrot today. Have you ever seen a parrot? I think I've only seen a parrot in the zoo. Do you like to go to the zoo? Me too, I really like to go to the zoo. I think my favorite animal at the zoo, I always like to watch the monkeys. Maybe we'll have to draw a monkey one day. And I also really like when the zoos have pandas, but not very many zoos have pandas. But they almost always have parrots. Hmm. I wish I could fly like a parrot. That would be pretty cool. All right, well, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Make sure to have fun today. Oh, what did we forget? We forgot to color the beak. Let's see, maybe I'll use yellow. All right. Have a good time, doodlers. See you next time. Bye.